So, are you ready to have a barbecue and you have a dirty deck? Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to clean the deck properly and to make it look good and new again and make it so it ain't so slippery where you're going to slip and fall. So, I'm Jason Guyman here from PressureWashHelp.com to help you grow your business, be successful, and to change your life. So, first thing we want to do is, is we want to soap the deck. It's not about the pressure that cleans the deck. Do not use a red tip on this deck, especially if you're a homeowner. You will damage it. The first thing we want to do is, is we want to put a soap down on it. You can go to your local Home Depot and get some stuff, or what you can do is, is take a mixture of, say, like Clorox Beach and a pump-up sprayer, put it in your pressure washer, and with this, if you're going to put it in a pump-up sprayer, maybe put like a half a gallon to three or four gallons there. Just set it on there. You don't want it to dry. We just want to put it on there. It'll help kill the mold. So I have a mixture here. It's 10 to 1. It's about 1% um, sodium hypochloride. And all we're going to do is, is we're going to just put a nice coat on it here. As soon as it starts coming out, if it's going to come out, here it goes. And we're just going to put a nice coat on this. Just coat it all nicely down right here and put it nice little coat get to help get the green off this will help it will help remove the mold and keep it from growing back and that's the most important part is we don't want it to grow back next thing we're going to do is, is I'm going to change tips here this will actually turn the soap off the soap only comes out um, it, it, at a lower pressure so that's about 100 psi is all I applied it with now our soap nozzle, it's about um, about three to 400 PSI. It's not a lot, but I can still, you know, safely do it. What we want to do is, is we want to try to do one board at a time, especially if you're going to stain it or what. We really don't want to go here and do this, and do this section, and do this section, because what's going to happen is, is we're going to overlap, and it's going to give you those overlaps, and it's going to look like crap. So what we want to do is, is I'm going to start back here in the back. I'm going to come up here in this side of the whole railing right here. We're going to turn it on. We want to be about six to eight inches off that board. We don't want to get too close to that board. We get too close to the board, it'll start splintering the board. And what we're going to do is, is we're just going to walk each board, basically. Walk that board all the way down. All right, I gotta get some leaves going. All right, and then we're gonna go back the other way. And I'm not on it, I'm pretty far away. And this way we won't damage that board. And I get a good cleaning all the way down through there. Now we'll just give me a start. And then I'm gonna go back the other way. And I'm just gonna keep going back and forth like this. Now, if my soap starts to dry, I wanna reapply my soap on it. Got some pretty good funky leaves right here. All right, we're gonna go back. I do like about holding my pressure washing wand right here, about like that. That way, I keep the same distance off of that porch, and that's less likely for me to mess up and splinter that wood. And I don't want to splinter that wood. So this is what you want to do. You want to do the board all the way down to the end and keep it going. Go all the way down this end. Turn around and go all the way back down. And we do the same thing with the spindles. I don't have no spindles on this porch, but we would do the same exact thing with the spindles. All right, we're going to keep going right here. There's a the hose where I missed it. All right, then I'm going to rinse everything down out of the house where I made a mess. Rinse it all off. 
Not using no pressure to rinse it off, just nice, light, duty pressure here. Get all the leaves off the house that I made a mess on. Just try to get them off the house here. Get them off the back of the porch. Make it look like we know what we're doing when we're cleaning. All right, then we're going to come out here, and I'm going to hit this fascia board just to make it look good, too. Work my way all the way down. The trick of it is to try not to do overlap marks, and that makes it look like crap if you do. We'll go back. And then we're going to try not to make a mud hole right here and stay out of that mud and just hit that one. I'm going to rinse off my house again because I just cleaned it and I, I don't want to do it. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this step here because I've got to do the concrete. So I'm going to do the same thing even with concrete. Try to keep it at one go. So, that is how we want to clean a wood deck and make it look like a two-year-old didn't clean it. Rather, we didn't use a red tip and we marked it up. We really want to use a nice 25, 30 degree fan tip that's about 800 PSI or it's it, no more than 800 PSI, stay away from the wood, you know, four or six inches, and just do each individual board. Sometimes you might have to go down the sides and get down into the cracks of the boards where there'll be mold. But just put that um, bleach mix on there, and that will allow that to kill all the mold before you start. So, if, the, if you need help and you want to learn about vinyl siding cleaning, Check out my video up here. I show you how to clean vinyl siding. And if you're a business and you're trying to get leads and you through Google, you can check out my business or my Google my videos down here. See you in my next video.